Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And some coffee. Oh, in my magical mug. And I have a Wellington. Hi baby. What? Crazy cat tail. Uh, and I don't know where Alex is. He's around here somewhere. All right, you wanna say hi? Okay, you say hi to our friends. Say hi, buddy. You wanna say hi? Oh, you're so cute. Okay, I've got a haul for you. Sorry, my eyes are all puffy and gross. I went to the eye doctor today. I think we have some allergy issues. Surprise. Um, I don't have a large haul today, but I got some fun stuff. So let's start. I grabbed some more of these sunbeam light bulbs. I realized when I went upstairs to put them in that I bought clear instead of the soft white. So I grabbed four soft white, but then I grabbed two clear. So I'll switch them out for clear this time and then I'll do the soft white the next time in my bathroom. So I grabbed six of them, which is still a better deal than buying the big package of them. I think Alexa is trying to tell me something. Alexa, notification. One new notification. From Alexa, the U.S. National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Pickerington. It'll be in effect until July 27th, 6.30 p.m. EDT. Severe weather coming. It's stormy out. All right. Then I found, I'm just going to show you. It's called Fan Heads. Get it, wear it, game on. I believe it's a cardboard helmet. <laughs> and it is licensed though, Ohio State Buckeyes. I grabbed two of these. I thought it would be fun if we have a football season. If not, whatevs, but it was a dollar. Heck, the stickers would be worth it. And it's all different size. Um, so fun, I grabbed two of those. Check your area for whatever team they may have, I don't know. But that was fun. You very rarely see Ohio State things at the Dollar Tree. I can tell you that. Licensing and it's, you know, money. All right. I found four. And I didn't find it. They've sold them there before. But I grabbed one. These are just the little, like, woven rugs. But what I use them for. It, oh, that must be the bottom. Um, I sit them on top of my dryer. And then I put, you know, my detergent and stuff on it. So if anything spills, and then I just toss them or wash them. But I needed a new one. Oh, that's interesting. They put the tag on the side, calling that the back, but the knot is on the front. It doesn't matter, but anyway, <laughs> there's a knot in it. Um, this is fun. You know, this is not as stretchy, but this will look good on my dryer, and it's sturdy. And it also, so I have my... Um, laundry soap pods and my um, scent booster in glass jars so when the dryer goes sometimes it rattles so I tried that's another reason I like to keep like a small rug or towel or something on my um, dryer and for a buck and I like these colors it's the gr navy blues and grays like an ombre so it's pretty it's a nice quality I'm almost wondering if I bought like a bunch of these and sewed them together if they would hold up at my front door I probably won't but it's a thought so that needs to go upstairs um, I picked up this and this was I think in the wedding section but you can use this for anything it is uh, the wi it says Wi-Fi Sweet Wi-Fi, and you put your password on it. So if you have company or guests sit, staying at your house or visiting you, and what I'm going to do with this is put it in my spare bedroom, and if they have want to know what the Wi-Fi connection is, it's the password. I thought that was super nifty. So I grabbed one of those. Like I said, it was in the wedding section, but that's, you know, I don't feel like that's wedding. I grabbed some lavender. We're going to try this. It says it is Aroma Guru. It says it's 100% pure lavender. I have highly doubt that we're selling, let me just double check this. Yeah, 100% pure lavender. 
essential oil. And then sweet almond, which is the carrier oil for it. So that you can use it um, like on your skin and stuff, I guess. Yeah, so you can put it in your hands. It doesn't say how much. I was trying to get the cap off, the lid off. Um, so let's open it up and have a little sniff. It's a glass bottle with a glass dropper. Mm, it's okay. It's not high quality lavender, it's not terrible. And heck, the jar with the dropper would be worth it. But I got it to do a DIY, so we're Ooh, it's thundering. We're gonna do the DIY with this, so we got lavender oil. I picked this up, and what it is, is a chalkboard on a stand, on a pedestal, you know, like you can sit it up like that. But I'm gonna try to DIY something with my cross stitching and make a gift for somebody. So paint it and then put some magnets and put a cross stitch. But we'll see, I'm not sure if it's the right size. But I thought that would be sweet to like, you could put a little message, you could break it. See, it sits up like that on your tabletop. It's pretty nifty. I think I've seen these before, but I grabbed one. I don't have a big haul today, but for a DIY coming up, I grabbed an eight by 10 of the flat canvas board and then a stretched canvas and they will go together and then I will show you a fun DIY. So I grab these. And um, if you wanna do the DIY with me, it doesn't need to be eight by 10, it could be any size, but you'll need a stretched canvas and you'll need a board of the same size. So I grabbed that, um, I grabbed the last that I've ever seen at the Dollar Tree of their um, glitter glue. And I have a test sheet going, but I want to test these next. And then we're going to have a video where I will compare all of the glitter glues. And then I will show you how they each work and the pluses and minuses for crafting. So I wanted to get this last one and I came across it. And this one is actually pretty nice. It comes with two silver, two gold, two red, two green, two blue. So that would be fun to do like a little kid's craft. So I grabbed that, which is exciting. Um, I went honestly looking for bunches of Halloween, or how not Halloween fall stuff to get started and I haven't seen any yet uh, much, but I did find this um, pumpkin with the initials. I'm not loving their quality, um, but it is a pretty, pretty orange, but I may paint it and then just take a paint marker and, or fill in these again. If you look, the paint quality is not fantastic, but we'll see if I decide to do it. Um, it is hollow and so it's nice and light. Now I just videoed going through and purging all of my fall stuff and trust me, I don't need more things, but um, I am doing a centerpiece on my dining room table and I thought that would look pretty in there. So I grabbed it. I'm just waiting on all the signs I saw. Ooh. Sorry, my hair is crazy. I need a haircut. So we're trying to like, you know, just make do, right? So let's put all this in the trash bag. Now for another DIY, I bought this candle holder with this candle. Um, the DIY I'm gonna do, you can use any unscented candle and glass container. But I picked up this combo. We'll see how that works. These are nice because they're plain. There's no scent to them and they're a fairly decent size for what I want to do. So I grab those. Uh, what else? Oh, and then the last couple things I found, the football, the football, it's a football shade wire frame. But look what happens when you stick two together. Let me make sure I got the right ends. I do, okay. If I were to wire or glue two of these together, I'd really get a football. How exciting is that? Or you just do one. If you wanna make like a football season wreath. Right? So I grabbed three of them. We'll see what I end up with. I don't want to do the deco mesh. I'm not, I'm not feeling the deco mesh. I know that's what this is designed for, but we'll see. So yeah, I can either make a full one and hang it or do like a door 
wreath of some sort or even a table setting if you're doing um, like a football party. Oh, you know what would be kind of fun? Paper mache. Covering one of these in, in paper mache and then painting it. How fun would that be? I don't know, that would be interesting. We'll think about it, what our options are, but I did grab three to play around with. And then the last thing I got, cause this, like I said, it wasn't really a big haul. My stores are kind of in that in between season thing where we don't have, um, sorry, I got bit by a mosquito, where we don't have a lot going on in my stores until they get the fallout, which they haven't done yet. Um, but I did find this, it is a, Pencil and brush organizer. It says it will hold 49. Keeps brushes and art tools organized. Ideal for artists and crafters. So, I was thinking, I have too many paint brushes. However, let's see if we can put this together with no directions, right? So, we have this top. I mean, it should be self, oh, it is. And the little legs, right? So there's, I think, maybe, I don't know. There's a hole here and it's supposed to go in the hole, right? Unless it needs the bottom size. Yeah, oh, I was trying to put the wrong end in. So they're, <laughs> they're tapered. One end is bigger, one end is littler. Now, I may end up, if I decide to use it, I'll glue it together because I can already tell you that it doesn't feel like it's going to fit. And then the bottom, that goes here. This is interesting. Well, oh, girl, pay attention to it. Now it is, but I would still glue it together. So you want the grooves to go into the center. Sorry, I'm coming out of your sight for a sec. The bottom ones, yeah, I'm gonna have to glue this together. But I think if we reinforce, well, maybe not. Yeah, it's gonna need to be reinforced with some glue, but that is pretty nifty, guys. I would get some of the glue all or a fix all and just touch it in here. Although it is pretty sturdy now that all the three legs are in and it would hold and I'll take a little video and show you. I'll put all my colored pencils in it at the end and we'll see what it looks like. I think I have the colored pencils upstairs and we'll see. So hold tight for a little review video of this. But other than that, that is my haul for today. If you're not interested in seeing, um, I think this is definitely worth it. With a little bit of help with some glue, this would definitely be something great for your craft space. If you do um, adult coloring books or a lot of painting, I'm not gonna put my paint brushes in here. I'm gonna put colored pencils. So give me a minute. All right, guys, if you're not sticking around, you have a good one. And please like, subscribe, comment below. Have a good one. Bye. All right, I did it. It's on my craft table. Um, what I have found is you can get three pencils in each slot. Like here, I have just the one, but if I turn it here, there's two green in here. I've got a couple back here who have three. So if you were really good, what you could do is go through here and pair up all your like colors together. But I think that's pretty nifty and it keeps your pencils all organized and I love it. So I hope you do too.